Good morning. How are you? I hope all of you are fine and safe in your home. Okay? So then, did you take bath today? When you take bath today? Morning? Yes, very good. For students, you should take bath regularly. Okay? Children, have you had your breakfast? Okay? What do you eat today? Breakfast, what do you eat today? Morning, what do you eat today morning? Yes, chapati. Food too? Ah, yes, but Italy. Yes, what? Okay. Have you done your homework, children? Have you done your homework? In the last class, we have discussed about natural calamities. What we studied in the last class? A bin. What we studied in the last class? What we studied in the last class? Yes, sit down. Did you write and study your previous works? Okay, I hope all of you are doing all the works given to you. Okay. In the last class, we have discussed about natural calamities. For example, tsunami and earthquakes. Okay. What is the first one? Nida. Nida stand up. How is the word tsunami coin? How is the word tsunami coin? Nida, what is the answer? What is the answer? Sell out to Yes, sit down. What students listen to me very carefully? How is the, uh, how is the word tsunami coin? The tsunami has been coined from the Japanese word su and nami. Okay. The tsunami has been coined from from verb. From Japanese. From Japanese two words. Su and nami. Okay. Su means harbor and nami means waves. Okay. What's the guy said? Tsunami has been coined from Japanese word su and nami. Su means harbor and nami means waves. Okay? Yes. Then second one. Rabba. Rabba stand up and say this answer. What is called ethnic gods? What is called earthquakes? Once again, say loudly. Yes, okay, sit down. Earthquake means the sudden shaking of the ground. The sudden shaking of the ground is called earthquakes. Earthquakes means the sudden shaking of the ground. Okay, for students, listen. Uh, what is earthquake? Is yes, the sudden shaking of the ground is called earthquake. Name the instrument used to measure earthquake. Name the instrument used to measure earthquake. Which uh, instrument is used for measure earthquake? As yes. Others. Name the instrument used to measure earthquake. Yes, Richter scale. What is the name of that instrument? Richter scale. What students read that name? Richter scale. What is the name of that instrument? Richter scale. Once again. Richter scale. 
scale. I named the instruments used to measure earthquake as Richter scale. Okay. Children, did you write and study these answers? Did you write and study these answers? Do you have any doubt? Have any doubt about earthquake and tsunami? No. Okay. Can you read your previous textbook? Children, can you read your previous textbook? Or students, you must read your previous textbook carefully. Okay? You should read your previous textbook carefully. Okay? Okay? Children, today we are going to discuss about Okanos. Okanos means a volcano is a small opening in the earth crust through which molten rocks, gases and steam force their way out to the surface. Now what is volcanoes? As a volcano is a small opening in the earth crust through which molten rocks, gases and steam force their way out to the surface. Means a volcano is an opening in the earth crust through which lava, volcanic ash and gases escape. Beneath a volcano, liquid magma containing dissolved gases rises through cracks in the earth crust. Children, do you know how a volcano is formed? Do you know how a volcano is formed? Yes, the hot matter in the interior of the earth is pressed down by the pressure of the crust. The hot matter in the interior of the earth is pressed down by the pressure of the crust. Means, volcano are openings in earth crust that release ash, gases and steam and hot liquid rock called lava. Lava means hot liquid rock called lava. When the lava cools and hardens, it forms into the cone-shaped mountain we think of as a volcano. A majority of the volcanoes are located in the belt surrounding the Pacific Ocean. The more volcanoes are located in the belt surrounding the Pacific Ocean. But how a volcano is formed? What should I say loudly? Yes, the hot matter in the interior of the earth is pressed down by the Pressure of the crust. What is volcanoes? A volcano is a small opening in the earth crust through which molten rocks, gases and steam force their way out to the surface. What students can understand about volcanoes? Yes. Children, observe this video. Portals into the heart of the earth. They burn. Bottomless cauldrons fueled by an ancient wrath bubbling and boiling thousands of miles beneath the surface and just waiting to burst through. Volcanoes are scattered across the planet. About 1,500 active volcanoes can be found across the world, though countless others are on the ocean floor. Most volcanoes, whether on land or underwater, are located where tectonic plates meet. In fact, the Ring of Fire, a path that traces the boundaries between several tectonic plates around the Pacific Ocean, contains about 75% of the planet's volcanoes. There are several types of volcanoes, primarily classified by shape and size. Major types include stratovolcanoes, which often appear as tall, steep mountains, shield volcanoes, which are flatter and dome-shaped, calderas, which are large depressions in the ground, and mid-ocean ridges, which are underwater chains of volcanic mountains. No matter their shape or size, all volcanoes emit gas and molten rock. The journey of these emissions begins deep underground in the Earth's core. The core, which can burn as hot as the surface of the sun, transfers its heat to the surrounding rocky mantle. 
In doing so, the heat melts some of the rock. This molten rock, or magma, is lighter than the surrounding solid rock layer, so it rises through the mantle. The magma then escapes through vents in the Earth's crust, causing volcanic eruptions. Now above ground, this magma is referred to as lava, and it can reach temperatures of over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to lava, volcanoes may erupt with searing hot gas formed in the mantle. In a phenomenon called pyroclastic flow, this gas, combined with hot ash, can race down the sides of a volcano as fast as 100 miles per hour, burning everything in its path. To measure and classify eruptions, scientists develop the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. It considers various factors, such as the volume of lava, gas, and other emissions from the volcano, along with the height of the eruption cloud above the volcano's summit. The VEI scale begins at zero. Each successive measurement increases logarithmically, meaning that each magnitude is 10 times more powerful than the one before it. The VEI scale does not have an upper limit, but the most catastrophic eruptions measured thus far are categorized as VEI-8. These eruptions occurred thousands and millions of years ago. The most destructive volcanic eruption ever witnessed occurred in Indonesia in 1815. Mount Tambora, a large stratovolcano, erupted with a VEI measurement of seven. The blast caused earthquakes, tsunamis, and pyroclastic flows that decimated the land and took tens of thousands of Indonesian lives. The eruption even destroyed the top of Mount Tambora itself, turning the 13,000-foot-tall mountain into a 3,640-foot-deep caldera. While volcanoes are some of the most destructive forces of nature, they have also helped make life on Earth possible. Volcanic ash provides nutrients to nearby soil, making the land fertile. And lava, when it cools, hardens into rock and creates new landforms. With heat from the heart of the Earth, volcanoes have helped terraform the planet, making it the rich, dynamic landscape we see today. Next, we discuss about cyclones. Cyclones means a chorilicatical. Intense storms which develop over warm tropical oceans are called cyclones. Indian storms means Thivramai Kodungat, which develop over warm tropical means Ushnamakalakal. Uh, tropical oceans are called cyclones. What are called cyclones? What are called cyclones? What are called cyclones? Yes. Indian storms which develop over warm tropical oceans are called cyclones. The center of the cyclones is a low pressure area. Low pressure area means a new marda. No stalangal, new marda area. Above the center of the cyclones. The center of the cyclones is a low pressure area. So wind with the high pressure all around rushes towards the center. But because of the rotation of the earth, this wind assumes a circular form. In the rotation of the earth, this wind assume a circular form. The tropical cyclones blow with a great velocity and so they produce serious harm. Then cyclones is a natural calamity which is caused when there is a difference in air pressure of the atmosphere. It is very dangerous. Many times cyclones occur as a result of thunderstorms. In India, the probability of cyclones is high in eastern coast than in western coast. Katrina, Rita, Felix, Sandy, 
ഹൈറീൻ എറിക്ക ഹോട്ടോ മെറിയ ക്യാജ എക്സെട്ര ആർ ദ നെയിംസ് ഓഫ് സം ട്രോപ്പിക്കൽ സൈക്ലോൺസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ കത്രീന റീത്ത ഫെലിക്സ് സാൻഡി ഐറിൻ എറിക്ക ഹോട്ടോ മെറിയ ക്യാജ എക്സെട്ര ആർ ദ നെയിംസ് ഓഫ് ദ സം ട്രോപ്പിക്കൽ സൈക്ലോൺസ് അ വാട്ടർ കാർഡ് സൈക്ലോൺസ് as intense storms which develop over warm tropical oceans are called cyclones or students can understand about cyclones students please observe this video cyclone is a general term used by meteorologists to describe any rotating organized cloud that originate over waters cyclones hurricanes typhoons one event but different names depending on the location In the Atlantic and the Northeast Pacific it is called hurricane and in the Northwest Pacific it is termed as typhoon and in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean it is called a cyclone you can also classify them based on hemispheres the northern ones as hurricanes and the southern ones as cyclones there are also a few other differences in them apart from where they originate like the cyclones are usually clockwise but the hurricanes are usually counterclockwise where do these cyclones originate when the atmospheric pressure is low over a large water body that is still and the temperature of the water is more than 26.5 degrees celsius then they form into a cyclone before getting into any deeper let us understand what is atmospheric pressure in general terms the density of air in our atmosphere differs from place to place They are not the same everywhere. Atmospheric pressure is the weight of air acting against the surface of the earth along with gravity. Air in the atmosphere creates a pressure on earth's surface called the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is more on the earth's surface and as we move upwards there is less amount of air and hence the atmospheric pressure decreases. When there is low atmospheric pressure on a large water body on earth's surface they turn into a cyclone this process of thin air circulating strengthening and developing into a cyclonic formation is called cyclogenesis so how does it become a huge stormy cloudy cyclone when the atmospheric pressure is low the warm air rises to fill the gaps and the cold air goes down as they have moisture in it the warm air as it reaches the place it becomes more warm and it rises rapidly thus creating more gap so the surrounding air rushes in to fill the place this filling air travels at greater speed and from longer distances when they reach the area instead of filling the gaps they start circulating and thus creating a spiral after that any air traveling to fill the gap has to join the spiral because the air cannot pass through the spiral directly usually tropical cyclones range from 100 km to 2000 km in diameter when a large amount of air is rushing in to fill the gap they form huge cyclones and the spiral structure becomes larger and larger penetrating the clouds and thus creating thunderstorms tropical cyclones can grow up to a height of 10 km and they last from 3 to 7 days depending upon the speed of the storm how far it is away from the land and how big it is cyclones usually fade away or die when they cross the land area there is a misconception that the buildings and the other interruptions on the land surface act as a barrier stopping the cyclone but that's not it when the cyclonic storm crosses the land surface the main source of the cyclone that is a warm water is taken away cyclones work with moist warm air children now i give some homework for you write in your evs notebook first one what is okano what is okano second one what are called cyclones second one what are called cyclones children now i find up this class I hope you got a clear picture about natural calamities, volcanoes and 
cyclones if you have any doubt you can ask through whatsapp or call we will be back with another ebs online class thank you